Hello YouTube, this is Daylife1777. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, new MacBook Pros that Apple is supposed to be launching this year. Um, I'm going to talk about my speculation on it, what I think you know is going to be released, what new tech is going to come with it. Um, so far what I've been reading is that the uh, new MacBook Pros will have a uh, 2880 by 1800 resolution, pretty much a retina display on a MacBook Pro. Um, it would make sense if Apple did, you know, start releasing all their products with Retina displays. Um, I think there is a high chance that the new MacBook Pro lineup will have a Retina display. It would make sense, you know, they they'd be in the new competition with with all these new high res uh, displays that are coming out. Um, if the new MacBook Pros do come out with this resolution, that's pretty much double the resolution of the. Um, MacBook Pros that we have right now, because um, the new the MacBook Pros that we have right now are 1440 by 900. So, and those and that screen looks really good too. Um, I also think that the new MacBook Pros will probably head towards the MacBook Air area. It's gonna be you know a lot thinner maybe. Um, Apple might ditch, you know, the old design of the MacBook Pros and just head towards the Air. Um, I don't think they would be ditching the CD drive. Um, you know, a lot of people still use CD drives for, you know, for music or installing games or whatever. Um, they probably will ditch the CD drive, but I personally think they're not. Um, I think the new MacBook Pros will probably be released second quarter of 2012. Um, it, it should be announced, you know, this month in February, um, probably for a March or April release. You know, they Apple always has like a nine-month window, um, nine-month window for all these new, you know, new designs, or it might be uh, just you know a little update. Um, it's probably gonna come, you know, solid state drives. Um, it's probably gonna be come with a standard uh, 512 megabyte card instead of a 256. Um, you know, they gotta step up their their game pretty much because now with all these new um, laptops that they were sh uh, shown in CES that are as thin as a MacBook Air, you know, they got 512 video cards, one gig video cards. Um, they got solid state drives, uh, i7 processors. So these MacBook Pros are probably going to be pretty awesome. Um, anybody debating on whether or not to get a MacBook Pro now or wait till the new ones, me personally, I would wait to get the new ones because you don't want to, you know, spend seventeen hundred bucks, eighteen hundred dollars, and then three months later, you know, you get a huge upgrade with the new MacBook Pros for the same price. Um, just wait it out, you know. If you waited this long to get a MacBook Pro. It's not going to hurt you to wait, you know, two months, the most, or three. Um, Apple's going to be launching the iPad 3, which is going to head that same direction with a better uh, display from what we've been hearing, um, better cameras, you know. So I'd say wait and, you know, just wait to get that good, good stuff. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this video is pretty short, and uh, I'll probably be making more videos updating on the new MacBook Pro uh, tech if they release anything new. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Thanks.